I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to do a video here of a 2021 382 FB Columbus 1492 fifth wheel by Palomino. It's a four slide front bath model. Um, this is the first one I've done of these in a while as far as a Columbus video. It's a very complex unit. I'm telling you that, cut me a little bit of slack here. I'm going to try to cover as many things as I possibly can remember to cover. If there's some more information that you want, Click the link in the description for our website. Um, there's pictures and information there as well. So 382 FB. And we're gonna try to cover within reason as many things as we can on this unit. Um, this is the 1492. This is the higher end package that Columbus does offer. So when you enter in, um, you face this wall as you can see, and to your right is your master bath and then the master bedroom. So we're gonna go up here first, <clears throat> excuse me, and work our way back down. So going up through our bedroom to our master bath. Uh, it is beautiful. I've got a slide here with both my dual sinks. A couple things I want to point out here. Um, as far as the cabinetry is concerned, notice hidden hinges, gold accents. There's all sorts of different storage compartments in this. Very nice soft closed drawers as you can see there. Um, at the mirror on both sides of that, you can see it's got lighting there. There's a switch, a couple switches over here to control that. Uh, you got different lights you can control for different levels of lighting in the unit. Nice storage over here as well. Our water heater controls are here. It does have a tankless water heater on it. And those controls are located there. Solid surface countertops here, even in the bathroom. Lots of floor space uh, between the sinks and the shower. This is a very, very open bathroom. Up here, the right side is where your stack washer dryer would go if you wanted to. Uh, you've got a rack here that you can see with the dryer vent, obviously the sticker there that would vent out. And you've got your hookups over here to the right. If not, hey, you've got a massive storage compartment and closet there. And then to the left is your more standard closet. It's huge as well. Uh, massive you know, area up here on the top of the shelf. The shelving recessed back up into that front cap. A very big closet rod that goes, as you can see, it curves around the corner. And then a lot of floor space. So, I mean, this, this is a very good size closet, especially, again, we're in an RV, we're not even in a house. So very good size closet. Magnetic latches here for those doors. Very nice look there, very residential. To the left is our shower. So this is actually, it looks like a you know solid marble. It's not, it's a faux marble, but it is a great look. A teak wood you know, style seat to the left. It does fold up if you don't want it in the way where it folds down. So a nice seat there for those that uh, maybe you have mobility issues or if you just want a place to sit down in the shower and relax, it's a nice setup. Big sliding glass doors, uh, residential style as far as our faucet is concerned here and shower head that slides up and down. It's adjustable height. Of course, an adjustable head on our shower head as well. Nice skylight built into that also. Our toilet, porcelain toilet, Foot flush, of course, to the left of that shower. Uh, max air fan here in the uh, bathroom as well. Very tall ceilings in here. Um, it just, it feels like a home style bathroom. So going back out to the master bath, master bed, excuse me. Sliding door here to close that off. Our second slide here, our bed slide. Beautiful headboard there at the head of the bed. Uh, notice a couple things that are aesthetic, but still like to point out. The headboard, our windows are trimmed out with um, wood accents, roller shades there, little shelves above, accent lights built into our reading lights. Um, beautiful, just natural, the colors they have set up in here uh, themselves. Space on, on both sides of the bed to access the bed. This is a king bed. Uh, outlets on both sides as well. Two airs on this unit, both quiet cools. So one here, one in the living room. There's your in intakes for that. At the foot of the bed, big wall of storage up here. Uh, dual windows on both sides of our TV. I like that look. Uh, a TV already in here, of course. And then these uh, drawers at the, at the base of this. I love the contrast. These are gray. I'm trying to point that out. I don't know if it's hard to tell. Some of this is gray. Some of it's white. These are a grayish uh, color. I love the gold accents. I like the curved countertop. It's just it's just a more high-end look, really. It, it really is a very, very neat look there so lots of storage here in our uh, master bedroom a sliding door to close that off with a mirror as well going down the steps handrail here 
hardwood step treads. And then back to the left, I want to show you this. Uh, first of all, when you enter in, you've got like a nice little coat closet here. And then this is the control center. So whole lot of things controlled by this. Let me go back to the home screen if I can. All sorts of stuff going on. You can see here, here's our temperatures. Um, you can control a lot of the lighting here. Uh, pause this anytime also. If you're watching this video, you can see different stuff. Um, you can go to your devices and see there's our slide controls, our monitor panel. I just want to show you all this. A lot of people ask what's on this. This way you can see it. Tank heaters. Um, leveling, obviously, that's self-explanatory. Uh, the lighting, I think we saw most of those on the previous page. All the lights you can control. Very neat. Um, I believe even my HVAC, if I can go back. I'm probably doing too much at once. I may have it froze up. Your HVAC is built in right there. Um, awnings, there are two awnings. They're both built into that. So very neat, nice, concise setup uh, right here at the main entry. The entry door itself does have a night shade built into it. And then here's our max air control for the max air back here in the back. Now I'm going to turn and pan and show you the kitchen and living room area. Absolutely beautiful. There are a lot of lights. It's very well lit, and then it's a lighter color interior, so it, it's very, very open feeling uh, throughout this unit. Now, this is a similar a similar floor plan to the 383. The 382 has the butler, butler pantry, so I'll probably ought to back up and let you just see the kitchen. Let me do that first. So this kitchen is the same as the 383. 382 has the butler pantry. So instead of a half bath, you've got an incredible butler's pantry. I absolutely love this. It is a there's a ton of storage in here so this is all just different cabinets and drawers obviously great countertop space if you have i don't know coffee makers pressure cookers instapots air fryers whatever you got a ton of space here a little mini fridge there um, i don't know if that specifically would be considered a wine cooler or just a refrigerator but regardless refrigerator in here with accent lighting that's a little tile backsplash all sorts of led lights in here a uh, big window to make it not feel like a closet. It really just feel like another separate room. Um, you've got your day and night roller shades on this. Again, lots of storage up top. Beautiful cabinetry. I love this feature. Uh, if you're a couple and you're going to full-time in this or, or you know do even temporary full-timing throughout se seasonal uh, changes, this is incredible. That is a ton of storage. I love it. Got these slide doors to close it off. I just I really am partial to this one. So... That's the butler's pantry. Back to the main, just regular kitchen area. A couple of things to point out. Kitchen island, of course, there's that same, um, I guess marble you call it, accent there. Got outlets that pop up out of here on this side, excuse me, there they are. Solid surface countertops, of course. I love this sink. So a couple things about this sink. It is multi-layered. I've got my sink covers here. This is the sink cover that rolls out of the way if you wanted to have dishes on it drying, if they can drain out through there. So that comes off. Got a wood cutting board. If I want to, I can take that off. Then I've got, y'all gonna laugh. I'm not sure. I think it's for when you're drying dishes and you can let them sit here. As you can tell, I do not do a bunch of that around my house. Thank you to my wife. But that's what this is, I believe, regardless. It's another little shelf. So if you want to laugh at me, that's fine. Laugh at me at my expense. It is what it is. And this is pretty cool. So you've got like a secondary sink. Um, this is actually has a little, you can see a little drain there, a stopper I should say for the drain. And that comes out too. So I think this is really cool. And obviously that's a massive sink right there if you had nothing in it. But a really cool multi-layered sink. Very, very flexible I guess is the word as far as different uses, ways you can set it up, whatever configuration works best for you. Um, I like that a lot. So that goes back. And now we're back to the original setup that we had. The faucet itself, while I'm fixing that, you can see residential pull-out faucet. And then in the island, island itself, lots of storage. There's where the uh, trash can is, excuse me, there. And again, drawers everywhere, storage all over the place. I'm not going to open all these up. Appliance-wise, massive residential refrigerator. Obviously, this is brand new, so I haven't unpacked any of the any of the foam or anything. So a big refrigerator, ice maker in there, nice size. Uh, the oven, about as big as I've seen. <laughs> it is it's huge, definitely a home style oven. Uh, great stovetop, 
Again, solid surface countertops. I like my outlet outlets that pull up there. Uh, big crank out style window above a uh, more residential sized uh, microwave there. Uh, over here on Entertainment Center, nice big TV. I think this actually, if I remember right, pulls out. This is why you don't check stuff in the middle of a video. I know this does. This pulls out. Look for the pictures. Austin will post a picture of that. I'm sorry, it's hard to do with one hand. That pulls out. There's a huge storage area behind that. And then below, this is an audio system by JBL. So those of you maybe that aren't into audio, JBL is a name brand. So a really nice audio setup. You've got separate speakers here, speaker there. Actually, it looks like a subwoofer. There's actually speakers in the ceiling as well. I was playing with this earlier today, and it's you can use it almost like a surround sound system or just as a sound bar right there. It's a very good sounding system. Uh, below that, you've got the fireplace. And then I'll just kind of show you the different seating areas back here. Obviously, a couch at the back and theater seats there. Theater seats directly across from our TV, so a great line of sight there. Theater seats themselves, very deluxe. They are power, so they are power recline. And then they've got USB ports built into the cup holders. And then accent lights you know, built into our cup holder there. And I think this flips. You've got a flip up. Yeah, right here. Sorry. Flip up storage there. So very deluxe theater seat. Trifold sofa at the back. A little night table on the end down there. Again, big windows. Day and night roller shades on these. Trimmed out casings. Very residential look. Lots of LED lights. Lots of storage up there. And then I'm going to turn back around and show you this one more time. So you've got your big ceiling fan up there. I love the accents lights over the island. It's got like a, looks like a hewn wood um, trim work, I guess is the, I'll call it up there at the top. Gold accents on our lights. Very, very pretty. They did a good job of, of contrasting the dark with the light. Um, everything's gone so light in our industry. They did a good job still incorporating some of that darker wood, but the majority obviously is a lighter color. Um, back over here to the slide. Again, the theme, big windows, lots of great views. Our kitchen table, um, it's rustic yet very modern. So I'll zoom in, you can kind of see this. This edge is a like a rough look, but very pretty, very elegant chairs here. Notice, no carpet. This is a woven replacement for carpet. I love this. It will not stain and hold odors and wear like our carpet has for years. So a great idea there by Columbus replacing that. And one more kind of pan around this. I love the crown molding at the top too. Just a beautiful unit inside and out. All right, so we're gonna go back outside, show you some features here. A couple things to point out. Of course, we have the step above steps here at the entry door. They are the quad steps instead of, you know, typically we see three steps on these bigger fifth wheels. We got four here. That nice window there in the door, big grab handle, two electric awnings. I like these awnings they have white arms on them i don't see that as often usually i see black but the white awning arms uh the white metal wrap they kind of blend in with the overall look of the unit i think it's a higher end look it just looks clean to me there's two awnings one on the slide one on the side of the unit so you have great awning coverage here on this unit uh, frameless windows as we said earlier they are crank out styles outside speakers you can see those two there as far as the storage is concerned I'll open it from this side and open it from the other side too here in a second. So, great outside storage. Um, it is huge. By far some of the biggest I've ever seen in fifth wheel. Uh, two huge doors over there. And then this is a massive entry over here. And one thing I like that Columbus did, so that touch screen, you do have a backup here. You've got switches here to control your slides and awnings if for some reason that touch screen were to go out. Um, you've got a, a I guess not analog, but you've got a non-touch screen backup here, which I love. Um, outside TV hookup located there, battery disconnect, outlet out here. There's your uh, central vac access. Just a great, great storage compartment. No carpet, it's got kind of like a, a garage floor feel to it. Um, slam latch compartment doors, we are, I don't know if I pointed that or not, but they are a magnetic latch. Tankless water heater located there. I like the skirt metal. It comes out underneath it. Makes it look more like a motorhome, honestly. A very high-end look. 
um, G-rated tires. And then Columbus partnered with More Ride, and they got their own custom suspension. You can see that Columbus there etched into the, the plate. So nice suspension set up and nice tires. Beautiful gel coat fiberglass. Got a ladder on the back. Receiver hitch on the back as well for storage rack. Power cord goes here. It is an electric reel. There's a switch and there's a storage compartment for that. There's little uh, lights on the corners. You see that amber light at the top right corner? I think I've turned on about 40 switches. I can't remember which switch controls it, but it does have that. Uh, your ice maker valve. Access here, I like that. Making it easy to get to the back side of this refrigerator. Wanted to winterize. Termination point there for your waste tanks. And then here's the storage. I just think this is incredible. Huge storage compartments. Nice big doors, easy to get in and out of this, easy to get stuff out. Great design. Here's our docking center. So you've got your waste valves, obviously an entry point down there for all my uh, cords and things of that nature. Water filter system, the Nautilus uh, water valve system, so it's easy to winterize and bypass the system. All that nice and neat there. Again, this is the other storage compartment door right there. Uh, there's the power inverter for that residential refrigerator and then our controls. There's two controls for the auto level. This is the small one, the one you're gonna use primarily. And then the touch screen inside, if you go back and look at the video, there's a section there for leveling that you can get a little more detail with it there. But generally when I'm moving these, I'm using only that, only that little pad there, unless I have problems. So I love the decals on this. It's got like a, let me scoot up, kind of a blue, tan, gray. It's just different. It, we're not seeing a lot of that in the industry right now, which I love. It's unique, something fresh. And I love the front cap, the big 1492 logo, gray and white. Um, the front pin box is by Moride. So better than a standard fixed pin box. And then accent light in the front as well. So 2021, um, 1492 FB Columbus, fifth wheel by Palomino. That's a four slide front bath model. Very, very deluxe. Uh, we've got two awnings, butler's pantry, two quiet cool airs, tons of storage, six point hydraulic auto level, um, great outside storage. Very, very nice unit for a couple. That's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.